Hello everyone, I am Karthi Kumar Chosi and I am from Rajkot, Gujarat. I like to teach mathematics and science. My father is photographer and my mother is housewife. I did my 11th and 12th science from Vidyadis Vidya Sankul Pavnagar. I did my bachelor's in electrical engineering from Marwadi University, Rajkot and I am pursuing my master's in electrical engineering from Rajkot. I love to teach because uh, teaching is my passion and I like to share my knowledge with other person and other student and my teaching style is simple and efficient. Hello everyone, I am Kartik Kumar Jossi and today I am going to discuss the 10th standard topic, the name is Trigonometry, Trigonometric Function and their examples in day to day life. So first one, the Trigonometry. Trigonometry word is combination of two that is trigo and metry. Trigo means triangle and metry means measurement. So in trigonometry we are measure the parameter and the angle of the triangle. So as we let the example of one triangle A, B and C. This is called right triangle because the degree of B angle is 90 degree. So we can say that the triangle is right angle triangle. So if we let the example that the size of the AB side is 3 cm, size of the BC side is 4 cm. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, we know that the size of the AC side is 5 cm. Three centimeter, four centimeter, and five centimeter. If we let the angle of A, that means angle of A is theta. So the AB side of angle theta is known as adjacent side. The BC side of angle theta is known as opposite side. And the AC side of angle theta is known as hypotenuse that means the longest side in triangle is known as hypotenuse so in trigonometry there are six functions that means sine cos n cosec sec and cot so if you write the sine theta that means if A is theta, so the opposite side upon hypotenuse, that means opposite side is BC and hypotenuse is S. That means sine theta is 4 upon 5. As well as if we want to write the cos theta, so we can say that cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse, that means AB upon SA. The size of AB is 3 and the size of AC is 5. So 3 by 5 is right answer of cos theta. If you write the angle of tan theta, that means opposite side upon adjacent side. That means opposite side is theta is BC and adjacent side of theta is AB. So we can say that 4 by 3 is the right answer of the angle tan theta. If you write the cosec theta value, so it is opposite to sin theta. That means the sin theta value is 4 by 5. So cosec theta value is 5 by 4. If you want to write the uh, value of sec theta, it is opposite to cos theta. That means cos theta value is 3 by 5. So sec theta value is 5 by 3. And if you want to write the angle of cot theta, it is the opposite of tan theta. That means tan theta value is 4 by 3. So, cot theta value is 3. So, there are three types of trigonometric identities. First one is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, it is the measure. That means the uh, if we want to make the object of sin square theta, that so we can write that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus. 
is is another formula. If we want to object the cos square theta, so we can write that cos square theta is equal to one minus sin square theta. So in the first formula, we can make another two formula. Second identity of trigonometry is sin square theta is equal to one plus tan square theta. If we want to object the sin square theta minus one, so the equation is. Sin square theta minus one is equal to tan square theta. And if we want to make the object is one, so we can write that one is equal to sin square theta minus tan square theta. Then third type of identity is cos square theta minus cot square. Cot square theta is equal to one. So we can write that cos square theta is equal to one plus cot square theta. And cot square theta is equal to cos square theta minus 1 so this is this is measure nine type of equation that can use in the formula type and we can solve the uh, example based on it hello everyone this is type of example that can based on the trigonometric identities So first example is the proof that one upon one plus sine theta plus one upon one minus sine theta is equal to two sec square theta. So we can write that left hand side is equal to one upon one plus sine theta plus one upon one minus sine theta. So here we can use the cross multiplication. So one minus Sine theta is multiplied by one is equal to one minus sine theta, and one plus sine theta is multiplied by one, so is equal to one plus sine theta. In denominator, we can use the rule that means a minus b, a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So one into one is equal to one. Plus minus minus and sine theta into sine theta, so is equal to sine square theta. As shown in this, minus sine theta and plus sine theta is cancel out. One plus one is equal to two, and one minus sine square theta is equal to cos square theta. So in the denominator, one upon cos square theta. So one upon cos square theta known as Sec square theta, so it is equal to right hand side, and it's proved. Here another another type of example is sin has proved that one plus cot square theta upon one plus cos theta is equal to cos theta. So I write the left hand side is equal to one plus cot square theta upon one plus cos theta. Here again we use the multiplication rule. That means one plus cos theta is multiplied by one. That means one plus cos theta plus. In the denominator of one is always one. So one into cot square cot square theta is equal to cot square theta. And then one into one plus cos theta is equal to one plus cos theta. As we can solve here that one plus cot square theta. By using the trigonometric identities, we can use that one plus cos square theta is equal to cos square theta plus cos theta upon one plus cos theta. Here cos square theta, here cos theta. We can use the cos theta is a common, so one plus cos theta upon One plus cos theta is equal to cos theta because one plus cos theta and one plus cos theta is cancelled out. Is equal to right hand side. Thank you.